My name is Darren Vansel and I'm the creator of the Rescue Craft. And uh, I'm here today in Debec Canyon on the Colorado River. Um, we're going to show what this boat can do in a low head dam. Uh, before we get there, I want to show everybody how the boat is set up, why it works like it does, and why it is the only safe alternative for putting a boat into a low head dam. This, the boat here has added safety all around. It has D-rings right here and right here that are designed to carry an extra tether to ensure that rescuers do not become victims. You can see on the bottom side of the boat here as I tip it up, those D-rings go all the way through and are circle patched on the boat. We have handles here to assist with rescuers and victims. We have a rope that goes all the way around the boat so the victims have many options for grabbing on to be rescued. Extra handles up on top, extra D-rings to carry extra gear. Um, this bay back here um, is designed open enough to carry a motor up to 15 horsepower. Typically we recommend six to eight horsepower, but we have seen as big as, as uh, 15 horsepower on them. This frame is custom designed for a rescue boat. It comes apart to break down. When it breaks down, the bars are sitting in the truck, but these two sides come out like so. They turn upside down like so. And when they do, in an emergency situation, slip the bars in, they connect together right here, and you have a makeshift litter in case of an emergency. That's an extra bonus of these frames. They break down into a, a litter to carry someone out if need be. Once the boat is put into position, the frame is then strapped on using the D-rings that are centered on the inside of the boat, right here and right here, and on the outside of the boat, right here and right here. We use NRS straps as over the years we have found them to be the most dependable in quality and in strength. When you strap them on, you make sure there's no twists in your straps. Tighten them up snug. Stirrups facing forward. They snap in like that. And then connect right here, like so. Leaving enough room so we can completely lift up. Attach the other side, good to go. I'm mounting the oar up here. It's completely out of your way, completely secure. Never gonna get broken. And always available now. Through, I gotta slip through that end. Spare blade attaches right behind the rescuer, the operator rescuer, right through these loops. In almost all situations, the first thing that breaks is a blade, not a shaft. So the blade needs to be in a very accessible position, which is right directly behind you, out of the way, and take about 30 seconds to change out a blade if that were the case. In a normal situation, rescue situation, this boat would stay in this condition. It would have the frame mounted on it, it would have the oars on it, everything would be ready to go because in a real life rescue situation you do not have time to be rigging your boat. It needs to be set up on a trailer ready to have finished top pressure put in it and launch. high side still. I can get out still attached to my leash all the way around. Go anywhere I want. Then my thigh strap. Strap on. Then 
that I'm locked in here, can't go any further. This is all we gotta do is pull in the hair, head up, no issues. Right here, still room to reach everywhere. Completely secure in my position. Issues, weight supported by the thigh strap. You just dangle here. This is you can even let go here, no hands, still stay right in the middle. This obviously gives you more stability. 